I've been away. But that got me thinking. Making video games is easier. Anyone can open up Unity and create a game in a day. Anyone can do this. As well as learn how to code or use assets to make it even quicker. Again, I want to see how hard it can be to create my own No Man's Sky with limiting myself with easy programming. I am allowing myself to do simple code, such as transferring scenes or triggers. You can learn this stuff pretty easily with a Google search anyway. And if you want to see me make any other video games without coding, check out this little info box and watch me make a couple other video games without coding. Now, onto the video! So, today is our goal to make a No Man's Sky, but we want to simplify the game into three simple categories for this video. The first, I want to randomly generate planets. The second, I need to be able to fly from planet to planet and land on them. And the third, which will be our last goal for the day, will be able to fly to a different galaxy sector slash quadrant, basically going from one part of the map to another that's completely different. So, I started looking for planet generation. I looked through the selection on the asset store and they all seemed either too flat or cartoony. I did not want to make a bland flat planet or an over the top cartoon game. But Sebastian came in clutch. He posted his randomly generated planets on GitHub and I downloaded the project and was surprised on how flexible it was. Sebastian is an out of this world programmer with all sorts of amazing coding adventures. With his asset in hand, there's nothing I could really mess up. Go check him out, he's literally one of the best programmers you'll ever see. Now that I have the core mechanic for generating planets, I need to make it function with a seed. A seed is something that tells a computer how to generate its random numbers. If you give a computer the same seed for the same code, it will always give you the same results. That is one of the major benefits whenever you're generating random planets. You can make sure you always generate the same sector whenever you teleport to it if you have the correct seed. An example of this is when I enter a seed into my generator. If I enter this seed, it'll give me this outcome. However, if I change the seed to something else, it'll give me a completely different outcome. But if I go back and put in my original seed, it will generate my original results. Trying to implement this though took a little bit more effort than I thought. I had to code a simple seed setter and call Sebastian's function to generate planets while sending it to seed. Sebastian's code does not accept seeds typically whenever generating the planets, but after a little bit of tweaking and a tad of his, I got it all to function properly. With all that in place, I now have a fully functioning planet generator. All I have to do is set the seed and it generates the same planets in the same spots and it works flawlessly. I even added the ability for planets to spawn around a sphere, and so they don't spawn on the same axis all the time. With one of the three goals completed, it is time to move on to the next goal. Have a spaceship traverse from planet to planet. There are amazing assets on the asset store for creating spaceship traversal, and it was hard to pick which one I wanted to use. But, the Space Combat Kit was definitely the best choice. It has fully functioning enemy AI, meaning I can add combat into the game super easily. It also has capital ship control, letting you fly your own capital ship, which is one of the coolest features. No Man's Sky doesn't even let you do it. It also has a base AI, where you can create an asteroid base with cannons to shoot at the player, as well as add some objectives for the player to go complete. For this just being a video concept, this is more than the best option. With having the controller for the new spaceship, I implemented it into my scene which generates all the planets, and this is what the outcome looks like.
And even with these two things combined, I basically have a complete space travel game. The game itself looks beautiful, all thanks to Sebastian's amazing programming, and the space combat kit really ties in well with the planet so you can traverse and land on them, as well as exploring the planet and its terrain. With the first two categories already complete, now it's time to get to traveling between sectors. Now this is actually pretty difficult because this is going to mainly rely on what I have to do. I cannot just drag in a prefab from another coder and use their work. So what I had to do is create a map making system. And what you're seeing is my own custom editor. It's just a very simple script that spawns objects around a certain point and it lets you make one of these maps in a matter of seconds. I only made this to make it less click and drag. I made it so it's a lot simpler to make something a lot bigger very quickly, but then I realized that I should probably stick to a smaller map anyway. And this is the final product of the map. It's a lot of glowing, a lot of cool stuff, just a bunch of visual stuff that really doesn't change the way the game plays, but it's really easy to select the quadrant you want to go to. It also has some cool spinning effects around the planet, so whenever you click it, it looks kind of cool and futuristic. Now that we have the third category done, we can add it to the other two, and this is what it looks like. And here is a great base to a beginning of a space game. It has combat, it has traversal, all I need to do is add an economy, some sort of base building, and then you basically have No Man's Sky. However, I won't be able to add base building or an economy right now due to the fact of the time restraint, but I think this proves that video games are becoming easier and easier to make, even in a short time span. Let me know if I should work on this more. I have some plans for it. I've already been in the works of making more ships, maybe different types of designs, all sorts. It's actually really cool what I have planned, so if you want to see more of this, let me know. Uh, however, I might not get around to it if you guys don't want me to. I've got a lot of plans for other videos, and I hope you guys enjoy those just as much. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you feel like you want to see more content in the future. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.